Back when folks lived in caves, humans and animals relied on their sense of taste to keep them alive. Sweet foods were usually safe, and bitter foods were dangerous. Fast forward about 10,000 years, and we've grown to associate sweetness with pleasure. To learn a little more about how this works, we're gonna turn to National Geographic editor, Ali Yang. So something mystifying about food addiction is there's nothing in food that's like nicotine that is in itself an addictive substance. However, when we look at sugar, it has the same kind of pathways from our mouth to our gut to our brain that mimics what it's like to have substances like nicotine and alcohol. When you eat something sweet, in a matter of milliseconds, it starts this circuit in the brain, it travels along the vagus nerve, this message of she just ate something sweet. It's amazing. When we eat sugar, we'll have a dopamine response. Dopamine is associated with learning. It tells us that what we're doing is good for our survival. And it can be a very, very strong urge that even if you're full, you're gonna reach for it anyway. 